in the last lecture we uh, talked about very important uh, uh, topic in uh, nonlinear control theory that is uh, feedback linearization and uh, we also demonstrated uh, the concept of feedback linearization uh, with uh, some examples uh, next we shall talk about uh, systematic approach that is utilized to obtain feedback linearization however uh, we, before we do that uh, we need to study some mathematical concepts. So, in today's lecture, we shall be talking about some basic uh, mathematical concepts uh, which uh, will be utilized uh, to study feedback linearization techniques. So, among these concepts, uh, the first one is Lie derivative. So, for a nonlinear system given by these equations, these state equations and output equations, uh, Lie derivative is defined by this expression that is uh, a partial derivative of uh, h with respect to the state vector x multiplied by f of x. So, this is denoted by uh, this uh, notation and uh, we read it uh, in this way Lie derivative of h along f. Uh, we can demonstrate it with the help of a uh, simple example. Here we have uh, a nonlinear uh, system, uh, the state equations and the output equation, uh, which can be uh, written in this uh, particular format. Uh, here, this is f of x, and this is g of x, and this is h of x. So, Lie derivative of h of x along f of x uh, given by this definition is written over here. Now, you know that this x is a, a vector. So, we are going to compute the derivative of this function with respect to a vector. So, that is given by this relation for x, uh, x belongs to a three dimensional space. Uh, it has three uh, state variables x1, x2 and x3. So, this partial derivative is given by this thing. Partial derivative of h with respect to x1 partial derivative of h with respect to x2 and likewise partial derivative of h with respect to x3 and then multiplied by f of x. So, h of x uh, is here. So, you see that uh, this derivative is 0. This is equal to 1. This is also equal to 0. Uh, therefore, we have this thing and uh, simple multiplication results into uh, x3. Lie derivative of h of x along f of x for this particular system uh, that is given by x3. So, I think this definition of Lie derivative is quite clear. Uh, there is another thing, uh, we call it a second Lie derivative of uh, h of x along f of x. So, how do we define it? It is basically uh, the Lie derivative of this thing which is inside brackets, Lie derivative of this expression along f of x and by this definition it should be equal to a partial derivative of uh, this uh, thing inside brackets with respect to x multiplied by f of x where this is itself given by this relation this is Lie derivative of h along f of x so further to clarify it we again take the same example uh, the state equations output equations f of x and g of x and here is h of x. On the pre previous slide, we have computed the Lie derivative of h of x along f of x. It came out to be equal to x3 and we want to compute its second Lie derivative. Again, by using the same relation, uh, it should be equal to the partial derivative of uh, this expression with respect to x1. Uh, we, we are writing this thing in expanded form. Uh, this x is a vector, so its derivative with respect to a vector will be another vector. So, partial derivative of this with respect to x1, partial derivative of this with respect to x2, and likewise partial derivative of this with respect to x3 multiplied by f of x. So, these partial derivatives can be easily computed. Uh, here is lf h of x is uh, equal to x3. So, its derivative with respect to x1 is 0. Its derivative with respect to x2 is also equal to 0. Its derivative with respect to x3 is equal to 1. That is written over here. 
this multiplied by f of x where f of x is written over here that will be simply equal to uh, x1 multiplied by x3 uh, we can continue this uh, uh, lead derivative uh, so kth lead derivative of h of x along f of x that is uh, equal to the lead derivative of uh, this thing which is the k minus first lead derivative of h of x along f of x so that is uh, simply by extending this concept uh, where the zeroth lead derivative of h of x along f of x that is basically h of x itself here is another thing uh, that is uh, lead derivative of uh, this expression along g of x where this expression itself is lead derivative of h along f of x so what do you think uh, what should this be equal to right so it should be equal to uh, lead derivative of this expression uh, along g of x where this expression itself is given by this relation that is equal to partial derivative of this thing with respect to x and then multiplied by g of x and uh, this itself is given by this relation again uh, we take the same example uh, and uh, now lead derivative of h along f of x we have computed it on uh, previous slides and now we want to compute its uh, lead derivative lead derivative of this thing along g of x so that is simply equal to uh, this expression that is uh, we we are writing this in expanded form the partial derivative of this with respect to x is equal to its partial derivative with respect to x1 its partial derivative with respect to x2 its partial derivative with respect to x3 uh, derivative of this thing with respect to a vector will be another vector given by this relation multiplied by g of x and uh, this uh, we have already computed on previous slide is x3 so its derivative uh, with respect to x1 is 0 with respect to x2 is also 0 with respect to x3 it is equal to 1 and uh, uh, 0 0 1 multiplied by g of x g of x is itself uh, written over here so this uh, the two vectors multiplied uh, we get equal to 1 so I think uh, this concept of lead derivative is quite clear to all of you.